Hello everyone, welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. And before we begin, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks again today that we have the ability and the opportunity to study your Word. For we know that within it you have given us a revelation of yourself and your Son Jesus. You've told us the ways that you want us to live in this life. And you've promised that you would guide us into all truth by your Holy Spirit. So we ask that your Holy Spirit would teach us today and lead us in the path that you'd have us to take. And we'll give you thanks for this in Jesus' name. Amen. The title to today's lesson is, Do Good to All Men. And it's taken from Galatians chapter 6 and verse 10. Paul the Apostle told the Galatians the importance of sowing to their spirits rather than to their flesh. He gave them instructions concerning support of teachers in the word and encouraged them not to faint at well-doing. Paul is ending the book of Galatians with some good practical advice concerning behavior toward others. In verse 10 of chapter 6, he shares about doing good to them. As we therefore have opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. Paul begins, as we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men. The idea here is not just in case there happens to be a chance or occasion, but rather while we are living and have the season for planting, sowing, Putting out good seed, let us spend our time doing good to all people. In other words, there will not always be this season of planting for us. And since we are in this time, use it wisely by doing good. And notice, good unto all men. Not just a certain few or ones we like or certain candidates, but all men. The word all may be the most challenging part of this verse. Paul continues, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. When we have opportunities to do good to fellow believers in Jesus Christ, we should take advantage of them. It is certainly natural to do good unto those within our own families and to people we like. However, Paul's encouragement is to do good especially to those within the church. As we read these words, we should recall Paul's reason for writing this book was to come against the teaching of the Judaizers who caused division within the church by their doctrine. As these opposing sides reside within the church, doing good to one another may not be an easy task, but nonetheless, Paul exhorts them to do good, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. How long has it been since we have purposely done good to others? Are we taking advantage of our season? And are we directing our good toward all men? Do we pay particularly close attention to doing good to those who are of the household of faith? As we meditate upon Paul's words to the Galatians, perhaps we will find ourselves in need of practicing good again. And as we spread our seed of goodness, may the Lord Jesus Christ give us an abundant harvest of goodness in return. Next time we will get an indicator of an impairment that belonged to Paul. So read ahead and let us join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word in Jesus' name. 